There's a couple different factors that can hinder tropical storm development. One is wind shear. That's basically where we have winds coming from different uh, levels at different heights of the atmosphere. It can kind of tear apart the stacked nature of the thunderstorms in a tropical system. The other being dry air. And you may have heard of something called SAL or the Saharan air layer. Basically, it's dry, dusty air. And you can see some of the oranges indicated around Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. But if we even go further east, It'll take you all the way to the west coast of Africa. And the west coast of Africa is where all of our tropical systems are actually, actually born. And that comes out of uh, big clusters of thunderstorms off the Saharan desert. So the Saharan air layer, by definition, is an extremely hot, dry, and sometimes dust-laden layer of the atmosphere that often overlies the cooler, more humid surface air of the Atlantic Ocean. So I could show you the oranges, or I could actually show you what it looks like on satellite. So basically, those thunderstorm complexes move off the Saharan Desert. That dry, dusty air comes with them, and it floats right over uh, the ocean uh, in a ribbon of air. And again, it can actually squash the tropical storm potential uh, right along the main development region in the Atlantic Ocean.